What's up, y'alls? It's a little bit colder today, about 50 degrees. So hopefully it won't be too bad. Uh, just throwing, uh, bringing two rods with me out on my kayak. We got a swim bait hook. Probably throw, um, I don't know, I might throw a creature bait on it, you never know. But otherwise I have these uh, little swim bait things. So, and then I'm gonna be throwing a, a popper too. Cause um, yeah, it's a little bit of overcast, so. Or at least it was for a while, so might as well just keep it. I've decided to put a bandito bug on there because I don't know. I'm not feeling the swim baits right now, so. Alright, we're gonna have to come out later. This is ridiculous. So much wind. Probably can't even hear anything. Should have put new hooks on this thing, but. Whatevs. Too windy for this, but I thought I'd give it a shot anyway. It is overcast though. Let's try to make a little more, a little more uh, bubbles and stuff, more splashes. Cause it's gonna be harder for them to see it with all the waves and stuff. Best time to throw top water is overcast like this and being calm because then they can really key in on it without any of the waves and stuff. And they can see it better when there's not a big bright sun glaring down at them. You see him? You got him? Oh, dude, I got one too. Dude, we just doubled up. <laughs> Did you miss him? Dude, I got one. I was looking at you and I just got a strike. Yeah? Oh my gosh, dude, that was crazy. I literally looked back at you. This one's decent too. Oh yeah. Maybe you wanna. Oh yeah, dude, it's a chunk. Big small mouth. Dude, let's go. Don't grab the line like that. Just grab him by the mouth. Dude, let's go. Oh my god, dude, he's a chunk. Dude, look at this thing. I was like, I was, that was crazy. I was like looking back at you. Like I wasn't even paying attention at all. And then all of a sudden my rod just almost fell out of my hand. Yeah, I was like texting my mom. All of a sudden I was going down. So I'm putting my phone away. And then I just set the hook and it just. Is your, you should check if your uh, little jig is bent. Dude, look at that. This one's, this is a big female. You can tell, cause look at that belly. And then that little red, little red spot. That's where she's going to have her eggs. No, Let's get a weight. What? Not bent? No. You just got a little jig on there or what? Yeah. Dude, let's go, baby. We're gonna get a weight on this guy. I don't want him to be out of the water too long, but. Two, 213, so almost three. On the freaking top water, let's go. That's a nice ass fish. Look at that butte. Look at that beaut. So I don't know if you guys caught what happened. You probably did, but basically this man's over here. He's fishing for panfish because we got to eat, obviously. And he freaking, he's got a bass on. Uh, anyway, so he, he's got one on this bobber, this little tiny jig. And I'm looking back because I'm like, oh, that's sweet, dude. And then I just get cranked. I didn't even see him take it, but... Oh my gosh, that was so cool. And see, spring fish are aggressive, man. I'm just surprised it even did anything. That top water, like, and he was pretty shallow too. He must have been, I don't know, that was insane. Looking ready to bed or something, because the water is not very warm. So let's give her a few more casts back there and then we might switch it up. But I'm just going to let it sit like that. I liked. If it's, it was a little more calm, this this popper that I'm using is a little longer, so I like to walk it a little bit and then give it some pops. And then I usually let it sit for a while, but since it's so windy, I'm really gotta, you really gotta make it do some stuff. So otherwise they won't see it with these waves, but. Dude, seven, six rods, I tell you, man, this thing is insane. I can literally cast so far. Yeah, so with this wind, I'm just giving it really big pops like that. 
let them let it sit for a little bit pretty big pops since there is a little more wind i'm giving it a little less time before when i really hit that popper just because you really want as many fish as possible to see it but especially when it's colder like this you really want to let it pause because they are a little little lethargic still so oh my god this guy bought this this is actually a fairly new reel i bought it like last week uh at shields because they had a good sale going on and this guy like i have my settings on pretty tight he put so much freaking ouch that really hurt he put so much line on here that it just gets tangled up like my settings like it's barely dropping you guys like i don't know but he just loaded this thing with line now it's stuck so that's awesome and i just cut my finger just a little bit more yeah so i'm gonna have to take some of this line off because this guy is just obviously doesn't know what he's doing like it's just full on there i would have done it myself but i was buying new line anyway so i was like why not have that guy do it all right i'm gonna go switch it up okay. don't fall you stupid cat <gasps> oh no don't do that buddy okay hey okay stop don't keep playing with it you idiot Oh my gosh, don't go after it again. Jesus Christ. Are you just, are you retarded? Yeah, I had to pull it out of him. You're such an idiot. Demonetization right there. Stop! He just jumped like six feet in the air. Stop! Why would you do that to yourself? Oh my Lord. All right, switching up here gonna throw this bandito bug i'm gonna put some of this juice stuff on it i guess some people swear by it i've never really used it before but i mean we had some i think we got it for free then oh that's kind of oh no not sure if we're going out in the kayak today it's it's quite a bit windy oh dude oh i just had a big strike right there no, I'm using the like a swim bait hook with the bandito bug on it. That was insane. He just took a giant strike at that thing. Oh my god. How did that even happen? It was like literally like a foot from me. I was just letting it sit on the bottom for a little bit and then I'm twitching it up. Because the water is still like 50 degrees, so that was insane, dude. He's like right there. Dang it. Ah, I just got another strike. Oh my gosh. The popper coming clutch today. I have missed two fish today though, which is kind of, uh, I don't know. Oh, at least I'm catching them. At least I'm catching them. No, no, oh, I just, gosh, I had another one. Ah, oh, I need to slow down. Oh my gosh. That was insane. That one was a large mouth, but I thought he had it. Dude, I need to, I need to stop missing these fish. I've missed two of them already. Technically I missed three, the one right there. Wrapping it up for the day. Just putting everything away right now. Hopefully it warms up soon, so. And maybe Kate will catch something. One of these days.